Hi, I'm Todd Leckie, Senior Usability Analyst at Usability Sciences. This video will show you what usability tests conducted in our digital usability labs would look like. As the moderator, I will be sitting in the room behind us, and the participant will be sitting in this room using the computer. I'll communicate with her through a speaker and microphone located on her desk. For this study, the user has logged into her credit card account and is viewing the account homepage. We were evaluating the page content and the site navigation to determine how usable it truly is. This is the user's actual account and therefore her account information has been blocked to conceal her identity. So you've just logged into your credit card account. Take a look around this page and give me your initial reaction to the information displayed. Okay. Um, one of the things that um, I would look at is the last statement balance, which seems pretty straightforward. Um, when I look at the activity since the last statement, I'm seeing a negative number and I don't really, I don't understand that. Okay, well let me explain that. The activity since last statement is the sum of the new charges minus any payments that have been made. So that is the net value on the card. Okay. So it might be kind of nice here in this area to see what the last payment was and then um, actually see the activity or charges since the last statement. Okay, that's a really good suggestion. Anything else that you see on this page? Um, one of the other things um, I note is that over here um, I see the minimum amount due is zero, which it should be. I made a payment uh, several days ago, and it, it here it shows uh, December 23rd was my last session. So I'm not sure uh, why it's showing a payment due of December the 25th when I just made a payment. Okay, that makes sense. So what can we do to make that more clear? I think it would be beneficial on the next the payment due here if a payment's been made to reflect when the actual uh, due date is going to occur for the next payment. So actually this payment due would be, uh, since this has already been paid, it would show a January date for the January payment. Okay, those are some really good ideas. Well next, let's say that you are interested in finding out the number of miles you had accumulated on this account since your last statement. Okay. Um, I would look in the Advantage block here uh, this looks like a link, so I would expect to go to this link and see uh, the number of advantage miles I have, but uh, there's looks like there's nothing here, uh, so I don't see any new miles or uh, current miles. Um, however, I do see a link here. It looks like I've got to go to the American Airlines site and uh, put in a password and login to actually see the uh, mileage activity. Okay, so is there anything you would do differently on this page? Well, it would be nice to actually see in this block here what the miles are that you've earned for the month and also total miles. Okay, great ideas.